Hey guys, Gaming Domino here today, back to show you uh, another game that you can actually disable grass inside of. Uh, ages ago, I did the uh, disabling grass inside of Fortnite, and I actually found a way on how to do this inside of Minecraft. Now, it's not very difficult, but it does actually show some performance, um, and I will go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft here. Um, this is for Minecraft Java. We'll go ahead and open it. We're just running reg regular 1.18.2. Go ahead and let that load up. All right, so we're now inside of Minecraft. As you can see, in the video settings, there actually is no specific setting in regards to turning off the grass inside of Minecraft. Now, mind you, I have a pretty beefy PC, uh, so turning off grass, you wouldn't think would show a significant boost in performance, but... Uh, you'll be surprised by this video. Um, running at 16 chunks right now, got regular resolution. Pretty much everything's pretty on the higher side. Um, I usually would be playing with um, shaders like Optifine or something, but I just want to demonstrate this inside of vanilla. You are going to get the best performance out of this, out of just regular vanilla Minecraft, which is great. Um, but we'll just go ahead and load up a single party world. Um, I'll just do one on Survivor real quick, just to kind of show you uh, type of. Um, Performance we're getting in regular, just regular survival Minecraft. Oh, wow. Okay, we actually spawned on top of a tree. Doesn't happen to me very often. All right, wow, this is actually a really pretty biome. Oh, my God, I, I love Minecraft Java. Compared to, uh, compared to Minecraft Bedrock, it is... Wow. Okay, anyways, so you can see we have this filthy, the dirty fucking grass everywhere. It's disgusting. Um... But, you know, unfortunately, you know, I, I mean, of course you want to get seeds and everything, duh. Um, and you could have just always cleared out yourself, you know, you could go around clearing every little bit, but that, that takes time, you know. I, you know, I, instead of clearing this, this grass, I could be destroying this tree, I could be making a house, I could be making a furnace, I could be destroying, you know, the fucking inner dragon. Instead, I'm destroying grass for, for months, years to come, you know. Grass infinitely generates so there's really no point in doing that and as you can see if I pull up my f3 menu you can actually see we're getting we're getting decent frames with the grass on anywhere between like 60 and 75 um, vanilla is pretty like I'm not surprised because vanilla Minecraft is not very optimized well, we got up to 104 but we're usually averaging anywhere between 60 and 70 I, I would say at least but with this nifty little trick we can actually solve that so I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit Quit game. We're gonna go to your file explorer, and I'm on Windows 11. Um, I'm actually about to get the hell out of here because Windows 11 is terrible. Um, but uh, same thing for Windows 10, even Windows 7 if you're still running that for whatever reason. Windows XP as well. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to your file explorer and you want to go to this PC uh, or wherever in your file explorer. Just the top of your yellow bar. You're gonna want to go to percent. You want to type in percent app data percent no spaces. Go ahead and click that. They're going to be sent to, you know, your this PC, local disk users, uh, your username, app data, and roaming. Uh, you can actually get to here normally. The only thing is you have to activate um, hidden folders, which you can do inside of your settings here. It's different on Windows 10 uh, compared to this. You can also do it here. Yeah, you can also do it right here. So if I go to this, you can see app data is a little grayed out. Local, not local. Uh, roaming, and then dot Minecraft is right here. That's where you want to go. Go ahead and disable this. So what you want to do is you want to go in the regular Minecraft direct, uh, directory, and you want to go to options.txt. This this is what's important right here. So I have Notepad++ um, with a custom little skin on here. Uh, but you can also just do this in regular Notepad. I would recommend Notepad++. I'll put the link for it uh, down in the description. Um, but you want to scroll down to the very bottom and you want to kind of format it how these other ones are also formatted at the very bottom here. So you actually want to go to uh, grass underscore disable colon true and then you want to hit your save button. Um, and then also because Minecraft is going to want to change this file. The only thing is you want to make sure you have all your other settings um, moved already so like you know your vsync your shadows all your different stuff you want to make sure that this is already changed and because it, it does change the version you will have to do this for every single time you update that is the only thing about this which kind of sucks but what you'll do is see it's already we've already saved and everything you want to actually right click on it and go down to properties and then you want to go uh, and change it 
to... Fuck. Oh, read only. There it is. My bad. Uh, read only and hit apply. And then you hit OK. So what's going to do is, is it's not going to let Minecraft write over this file because Minecraft hates you not seeing grass. They want to make sure that whatever happens, you see this grass. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that this grass is gone. You want to make sure it's eliminated. So you can have nice, smooth land without having to worry about any of that stupid ass grass. So we're going to go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher again. And we're going to um, go ahead and hop in that same world. And uh, we're going to look at the performance. All right, we're going to go ahead and hop it right in back to our world. And we're going to see if there's any performance um, gained from doing this. And I do believe there is. All right, now we boot it up in the game. We're just going to go ahead and uh, check to see the performance. All right, now that we're back in the game, we can see, wow, I, just myself, I can actually see that the frame rate is like infinitely better. I think I'm actually hitting, okay, I haven't checked this. I've, I've only just done a little bit of testing. I, I can say that I'm actually hitting above 144 hertz because this is incredibly smooth. Let's go ahead and check it, F3. Holy shit! 300 and like we're averaging anywhere between 200 and 300 frames per second just by disabling the grass. I actually cannot believe this. This is absolutely insane. I I'm astounded. Wow. Like and the and it looks so clear. The fact that grass can make such a a difference because, I mean, you have to think about how many pixels are being rendered. Um, with all that gra- oh. That's, uh... What'd you do? Alright. Okay, anyway, so... But wow, you have to think about how many pixels are being rendered. You know, at a 1920 by 1080 resolution, it's really crazy to see. So yeah, anyways... Uh, I'm just gonna leave off this video with a little bit of a little bit of gameplay, uh, showing you guys, you know, how everything's running. So let's go ahead and get into it. I've always wanted to make a treehouse in Minecraft. I've never done it before. Actually, no, I did. I did. Uh, I had a SMP with my Discord server. I, technically, I didn't make it. Someone else did, but I don't know. I guess you could say I kind of did. I like the way I'm mining this tree. I do. This might be might be the coolest tree I've mined before. Honestly, are oh, we getting a lot of wood? Do we need all this wood? Ah, fuck yeah! We're gonna make a house, right? We're actually, we're gonna need this wood for sure. All right. Um, I should probably make. I have not actually played Minecraft in a while. I always wanted to speedrun it, but I know I'd probably never be good for that. I watch a lot of Minecraft content, but I don't actually play the game a whole lot. Yeah, Stone Age, nice. I think I could probably beat the Ender Dragon by the end of this video, honestly. Awesome, okay. What I like to do is whenever I get, um, whenever I get a, uh, a furnace, what I like to do is, like, let's say, for instance, I'll go ahead and waste it, just because, I mean, I hear a cow, where the fuck is it? Oh, it did turn off the fucking cows, I know that. Um, yeah, it's a skeleton. F oh, shit, I'm getting fucking... Gang banged over here. I don't like them. They're scary. Fuck. Fuck. You can't see me. Okay, we're good. I oh, there's a cow. Yeah, get over here, bitch. Good to use like all the performance of of the uh, of the wooden pickaxes you can. Um, cause I don't believe that the actual durability of the weapon changes, uh, how much it is used for full, for fuel. Um, but I'll just use it anyway. So I usually like to use it as a fuel source and I got some leather too. Nice. And because we picked up that grass in the beginning, 
we actually have um, we have a we have just enough grass. I mean, because you only need one seed to go ahead and start a farm, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, I would probably recommend doing that after uh, you already get one blade of grass, because um, you never know. You might not have enough. You might not have any wheat. Uh, you might have to go to a village to go get it, and you can't always rely on a village, you know? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, fuck. I should have made... I should find some coal. Alright, so it took me a little bit of time, but I actually did a little bit of mining off camera. I got a little carried away. Um, I found the stronghold and managed to get all the resources to get there and everything. So, I think we're pretty much good to go. I was worried I wouldn't have enough ender pearls. Um... Yeah, I can't actually remember the last time I fought the Inner Dragon, but watching all of these speedruns, I think I have a pretty good idea of, like, they call it the one cycle or whatever. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Um, oh, fuck. I didn't bring a pumpkin. I always forget about that. I don't I have not Oh, shit. I actually need to try these out. Um, I didn't bring anything too necessary with me. I did collect some stuff on the way. Fuck, I guess I shouldn't have brought- I guess I'll just use this. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh shit. What the hell, did you not like me having- No, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, I guess I'm running pearls if I need them. Okay, so, from what I understand, we have to like... Oh shit, like, down here and then place a thing and then get under it and wait for him to perch? Oh shit, oh no. Well, that's not good. Be a bad time for him to perch. Or her to perch. Sorry. I don't... Do people speedrun on this version of Minecraft? I have actually no idea. Can I hit this back? Nope. I cannot. Uh, I forgot I had these. <laughs> I've been saving these for a while, actually. Come on! Fight me! Oh, did she get hit by... Did she get hit by their own little fireball thing? I didn't, think, I didn't know she could do that. Like, I did not bring in a bow and arrow with me. So I'm actually relying on the bed technique. Okay, I guess I am gonna have to destroy these things, because, uh, this Cinder Dragon is seriously not, uh, perching, which is not good. Son of a bitch. Fucking hell. Come on, please. I'm so glad that they're not like, they're not like piglins, they don't all aggro. I also didn't bring a bucket of water with me, which I feel like is pretty important. I also didn't bring any shears, so that's nice. I didn't think that would be important. I don't know why I didn't. Can you please come down? Please. Okay, I actually do not know how to make this bitch perch. Oh fuck, please. Oh my fucking god. Please. No, please, please, for the love of god. No. Oh, perching. She's perching. No. No, she broke it. What? Oh, she's breaking it. What? No. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, oh my god, please no, please, oh my god, no, I can still do this, I can still do this, please, come here, you fucking bitch, come here, you bitch, come on, no, please, no, please, no, please, oh my god, I'm not even fucking close, I'm not even close, oh my god, what have I done, what have I done, thank god I have sweeping edge of my sword, right, and not sharpness, that would have been way too helpful. Oh my god, why? This is not even the boss! This is not even the boss! What is- why? Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I did never make a bet, huh? Well, at least there's no grass. Anyways, thank you guys for all watching. Uh, make sure to tune in to the next time I remove grass from a video game. Bye-bye.